All right, we're on to the big race at Del Mar on Saturday, the Pacific Classic. One of my favorite horses of all time is Best Pal. California gelding, um, took second in the Kentucky 1991 Kentucky Derby and won the inaugural Pacific Classic that year as a three-year-old. That race was for a million dollars in 1991. Here we are in 2020, 2022, that race is still for a million dollars. Um, so the race is obviously a great race. California Chrome was won it. Beholders won it. I was there watching it when Cigar lost um, and his win streak ended. It's just a tremendous classic race. And uh, I think we got a solid field this year. Now, Flightline is the one to five favorite. Now, in order to break even at one to five, he would have to win this race 86% of the time. This is a horse that's never gone farther than a mile, coming off a two month, almost three month layoff. And um, actually, he's never even gone two turns, he's only run in one turn races. That's a play against. I understand he's extremely talented. And you see it on the energy rating, it gets a 108, which really towers over the field. But you got to take a chance that uh, he's going to lose. And I think that makes everybody else uh, a reasonable wager. Now, Mandela has two horses in here, Royal Ship and Extra Hope. And Royal Ship recently won, um, I think it's a San Diego, beating Country Grammar. Uh, it was a prep race for this. and um, But that race was going nine furlongs. This is going ten. And Extra Hope, I got to believe Extra Hope is in there as just a rabbit. The horse has no chance, okay? And uh, you look at these odds lines. But the horse is an F6, and I think this horse goes to the lead. And going to try to run with flight line. That's an impossible task. Flight line is so fast early. But it might be just enough pressure to cause flight line to tire. And now there's not any really great closers in the race. Um, they're all very tactical. So it's hard to predict who's going to come running. You really got to go with horses that have some stamina. And Country Grammar has proven at 10 furlongs, winning the Dubai World Cup. I don't want to bet Baffert either, but... This horse actually has the lowest PFTS best odds and it becomes a spot A plus grade horse. That's the bet. Okay. I don't know if we'll, I think we'll get hopefully four to one or maybe we won't get quite that, but that's definitely the value horse. The other one is from John Shiras, this express train, who's been a win machine lately. And that horse looks like fair odds at around four, four and a half to one. Only negative here is coming off a long layoff. But good trainer. Should have the horse ready to run. That horse has $14 value. Gets Espinosa up. So you could take a shot with both the two and the four to beat the five. Maybe uh, put a ratio on your win bets. At these odds, maybe you would bet three times as much on the two as on the four. Uh, but you could do something like that. And um, in serial wagers, I don't know what to do. It's hard to leave flight line off. Your ticket is dead, you know. So I think I'm just going to play to win on the two and four and scale my wagers. That's called Dutch win betting uh, to get the same return no matter which one of these two horses wins. Two shots to beat flight line. Great race. Hope everyone enjoys it. Take care.